Praise the Lord. What a privilege it is to come into your home with the wonderful gospel of Jesus Christ to let you know that God loves you right where you are. I'm so excited about the new door God has opened for me to come into your home. We have a new program here, amen, just for you. Our program for this time is called Pastor Juanita Speaks. It will be aired every Monday at 7 o'clock. I want you to call your friends, uh, your neighbors, your relatives, email them, Facebook them, and tell them that I'm coming to their house. And I look forward to sitting down and talking to them. It's going to be girl to girl, woman to woman. The Word of God will find you right where you are. I'm looking forward. Amen. We will be starting Monday, 7 o'clock. I'm coming into your house. Don't forget to tell a few of your friends what's going on. I look forward to talking to you then. God bless you. Have a good one. God is good. God is good. God is so good to me. And I'm here tonight to let you know if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? I tell you, I know the enemies had some some traps set for us, amen, some holes dug for us, amen. He's created some high mountains. He said we couldn't climb, amen, some deep valleys that we couldn't go through, he thought. But we thank God tonight for the grace of God, for the song said, grace has brought me safe this far, and grace will lead me on. Thank God, by the grace of God, I'm still here, amen. Clothed in my right mind, have the activities of my limbs with a deep desire to serve the Lord God Almighty. We are moving into a time of divine uh, a health, divine prosperity, divine wisdom, divine knowledge, Amen. We are moving into an area where God's about to break loose some bondages and set the captive free. This is your time. You know, when you get ready to have a baby, they give you a due date. Amen. And when they give you that due date, that's about the day, the like day before or the day after that that baby is going to come forth. Amen. And I'm here to tell you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth you are approaching your due date and you know when the doctor tell you it's going to be January 15th amen in December and November uh, uh, you start preparing stuff amen stuff for you and stuff for the baby we start cleaning our house and getting all our clothes clean changing the linens on the bed Amen, because we know that once we have that baby, amen, that beautiful, awesome baby, and when we come home, we want everything to be in order, amen. And I'm here to do right now that God's about to birth a new baby in your life. Hallelujah, your vision, your dream has now matured, and God is saying to you right now, push, it's your time to push. Amen. When we're on a delivery table, amen, the nurses say to you, take a deep breath, amen, and push. And I'm here to tell you, amen, as a midwife for your life, that the Spirit of God said, this is your time for delivery. Push, push, push. 
You have carried that baby for nine months. It has come to its maturity now. Glow, it's, it's totally formed. Amen. It's got ten fingers and ten toes, two eyes, two ears, a good heart, and good. That baby is totally formed. And you know when we get to be expecting our babies, sometimes, we, we, or most of the times, we lose our shape. Amen. I don't care if you were a, a, a 12 or 10 waistline. Amen. As you carry that baby, you lose that waistline. It might be a 14, 16 before it's all over. But one thing you know, once that baby comes back, you go back into shape. Hallelujah. And I'm saying to you, don't matter what the hard knocks that you've gone through, the disappointments you've gone through, the bruises and the wounds that you've gone through, amen, you are carrying a child of God. You are carrying a vision of the most high God, amen, and you had to go through what you went through. You had to suffer what you suffered. You had to get rid of some of the things that you know was not pleasing to God because God was forming into you a perfect vision and a perfect baby. Amen. And I know when I was carrying my kids, there's things that I couldn't eat because it would put too much weight on me and the baby would be too big. And I would have time and a hard time delivering that baby. But all oh, when I stayed on my diet and I took my exercise and I took my rest and I ate properly. Amen. The baby came forth. Amen. With an easy delivery. Hallelujah. And I had my baby that I carried on the inside, now on the outside. Beautifully, perfectly formed. And I'm here, woman of God. I, I didn't mean to get into it right that quick, but I'm flowing. Amen. I'm here to tell you, woman of God, in 19, in 2012, you went through a lot. Amen. A lot of disappointment, a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. Amen. A, a lot of rejection. Amen. But you didn't give up. You kept holding on to God's unchanging hands. And I'm here to tell you that your due date is today. Hallelujah. You know what? When, we, we, when it's about time for me to bring forth that baby, I start having what they call labor pains. Amen. And for the last three months, you have been in labor pains because the baby had dropped kind of low. Amen. It was hard for you to walk and it was hard for you to sleep and it was hard to find out what side you should turn on. And none of those sides was comfortable. You had to sit in a chair. Amen. And that's the chair of prayer that God has put you in. Amen. Prepare you for this great delivery. Amen. And, and as, as the angel said, unto Mary, amen, that you're going to bring forth a son, and you're going to call his name Jesus, and God is saying to you right now, you're going to bring forth a gift from me, amen, and you can call it the name I give you, whatever you call that business, whatever you call that destiny is a name I have given unto you, it doesn't matter if you think that you are not qualified to do this, amen, God will never give you Anything that he said you're not qualified for, you are qualified, but you just don't know it. Amen. And God is saying that this vision and this dream that I'm about to bring forth for you, you've carried for a long time. It's been a very desire of your heart. And you have knocked on the door for this vision. Amen. And they told you no. But I'm telling you now, in the name of Jesus, go back and knock on the same door. Amen. With the same proposition, with the same offer, and they're going to tell you, yes, come in, sit down, let us talk it over. I think we can do this for you. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We know how we feel. Amen. When we make that final push, amen, and all that warmth and health comes out. Glory to God. And we thank God for the doctors and the nurses that are there to catch my baby. Amen. It didn't fall to the floor. Hallelujah. It, 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 it was not wasted. Thank you, God. But the, the doctors and the nurses were there to catch my baby. 
and I'm here, woman of God, to tell you that when this baby comes forth, God's going to have people surrounding you to know how to raise this baby, to teach you what steps you need to follow to let this baby be a healthy baby. Hallelujah. Everybody going to tell you how sweet it was and how good it was, but they're not going to know the work behind the scene to make this dream a reality. Just like Elizabeth did, she was pregnant for six months and she hid the baby. And she didn't tell nobody she was pregnant. Number one, she thought she was old. And even though she was, this baby was in her, she just didn't, it was too good to be true. Hallelujah. But oh, when Mary came on the scene, hallelujah, and she salute, uh, salute the woman of God, they said the baby leaped in her wound. And I'm telling you, your baby is out now. But God's going to bring you in contact with some women, amen, that can make your dream, make your vision, a re oh, glory to God, a reality, woman of God. It's your time to go through whatever God is taking you through that you may come forth more than a conqueror. Your baby has been nurtured. Your baby has been fed. Your baby has been uh, properly taken care of. Amen. And your nine months is up. Say, my nine months is up. It's time for me to bring forth. Say it again. It's my time to bring forth. One more time. It's my time to bring forth. Now is your due time. And I'm here to encourage you that God is going to bring people in your life to make this vision a reality. God's going to send people into your life that know what you don't know. Hallelujah. Amen. It will direct you in the path you need to go for victory. Woman of God, let us put our hands up and thank God. Thank you, Father, for my due date has come to pass. Thank you for the doors you're opening. Thank you for the, the people you're sending into my life to make this dream a reality. Thank you, Father. Thank you. And guess what? I'm rejoicing with you right now. I believe that God is about to do something supernatural that you can even imagine that little thing that you stuck in the closet in the book, in the dark, that vision, God is saying to you, bring it out. Now is the time for your vision to become a reality. I have a, a scripture. I just want to give it to you because it just flows in with, with what we're talking about. Amen. And it's find, found in Isaiah 54 and 10. Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, saith the Lord, who has compassion on you. It doesn't matter what has happened in your past, how high the mountain was, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how low the valley was, it doesn't matter. You cannot compare your failures with the love of God because God said, I love you with an everlasting love. And the enemy has tried to trap you and, and tell you that this is not going to work why are you dreaming so big? You know where you came from. None of the people in your family has never done what you want to do. Amen. And God is saying to you, though those people talk, amen, and open their mouths and tell you it can't be done, amen, it can be done for all things are possible to them that believe. God is saying to you, my sister, my love for you is unfailing. 
There is no end to my love. Yes, you fell down, but you got up. Amen. And that's the secret of total victory. If we fall down, we have a chance to get up again. God saying to you, I've made a covenant with you that you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. That I'm going to open doors for you, my covenant, and no man can close them. And I will also close doors for you, and no man can open them. You are my beloved. You are married to the king. You are seated with Jesus on the right hand of the Father, and he calls you my beloved, my darling, my daughter, my child. And God is saying to you, because I am the vine and you are the branch, all my creation runs through me. Amen. And I've given you, amen, a glimpse of my creation. Look at the heaven. Look at the stars. Look at the earth. Look at the flowers. Look at the trees. Look at the animals. You see through nature that I'm a God of creation. And if I put this whole earth together and I hold it in my hand, the vision that I've given to you will come to pass. Nothing is impossible to them that believe. This is your due time. This is your time to get on the delivery table and push. I know it hurts. I know you're going to scream. You're going to yell. But it's only a few minutes. The thing that you've carried for so long is now making its entrance into the world. And sometimes God got to slap it on the butt. Hallelujah. To make it cry out. Glory to God. But I'm telling you, you don't have to worry about disappointments this time. Because God said, I will go before you and make the rough places straight and flat and smooth. I will be a lamp unto your feet and a light to your pathway. I will show you the way to go. I will go before you and open the doors. It, have you ever been to one of those big uh, uh, big malls, amen? All you got to do is step on the mat and the door flings open, amen? And I'm telling you, God just stepped on the mat, amen? And the door has just flung open of opportunities, of privilege, of, of advancement, just, just swung open for you. This is your due date. This is your hour of deliverance. This is your time of healing. Jesus said, I came to heal your bruises. I came to heal your wounds. And during this period of carrying this baby, you have been wounded you have been bruised, but Jesus is saying to you tonight, I've come to heal your bruises. Oh, glory to God. I've come to heal your wounds. The best for you, my sister, is yet to come. Victory is yours. And your soul will look back and wonder, Lord, how did I make it over? You'll know, and the Spirit of God will witness into you, if it had not been, I said that in the beginning, for the Lord on my side, where, oh, where would I be? I'm here to tell you that God loves you. And he's always had a plan for your life. Before you came out of your mother's womb, you 
my sister. God said, I knew you before you put on your earth suit. I knew you when you were in heaven, amen, with me before you came down and I breathed life into that body. I knew you and everything I wanted you to be is already in you. There's things in you that you don't even know is there. I'm about to unfold some of those things, those gifts, those talents, those ideas that were in you that you didn't even know were there. I'm about to take you to a new dimension, a new revelation, a new place in me. And I'm saying to you, my daughter, after you've had your baby, there's a time of regrouping and a reshaping and refocusing because now you're not a single lady. You are a mother with a child. Now you have to focus on more responsibility and more duties and more giving of yourself. Amen. Your whole life has changed because of the baby you just birthed. And I'm here to tell you, my sister, your whole life will change from tonight because of the gift that God's unfolding in your life. And I'm here to tell you that God has always loved you. You have gone to some dry places where you looked around and you said, God, where are you? And he's here to tell you, I've been there all the time. You left me, but I never left you. And I will never leave you. I will go with you, even though your mother, your father, your friend, your husband, your children forsake you. I, your God, will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. I just, I just wanted to give you a word of encouragement. Amen. As I was coming over today, I had something totally different. Amen. To say, and I'm, and I'm saying, Lord, that's what I wanted to say. I thought that was appropriate. Amen. But as, as I got in the elevator coming up, amen, just that quick, the Lord just dropped this in my heart. Amen. This is your due date. Amen. This is the, the day that you're going to bring forth the dreams and the vision that you've been carrying for so long. And the Lord wants you to know I have never forsaken you. I have never, ever left you alone. I am there all the time. But this new, this new door that I've opened for you, we're going to go through it together. I'm going to hold your right hand. Yeah, oh, that's so good. I'm going to hold your right hand. I remember my children were little, and we were going across a dangerous intersection. Amen. And I said to my kids, because I had two of them, hold my hand. But even though they grabbed my hand, my hand, my big hand with their little hand, I grabbed hold to their little hands in my big hands. So even if they wanted to pull away or run away, they couldn't because I had them with a tight grip. And God is saying to you right now, my sister, I've got you with a tight grip. Amen. I will lead you every step of the way. Listen for my voice. Recognize my voice when I speak and obey my voice. In Deuteronomy 28, the Lord said, if you keep my commandments, if you keep my statutes, then all these things will be added unto you. I will make you the head and not the tail. Amen. I will do great and marvelous things for you. Now, listen, when God says I, you better know who's speaking. Amen. He's not an ordinary man. He's the king of all kings and the Lord of all lords. He's the one that you have found favor with. You have, listen to me, my darling. You have found favor with the king of all kings 
and the Lord of all lords. Out of the trillions, 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 and trillions of people that have called unto himself, he picked you. That makes you special. Anytime you are attached or in a royal family, everything that that kingdom represents is yours. Your father is the king. He represents love, joy, peace, happiness, gentleness, kindness, meekness, wealth, riches, prosperity. It all belongs to your daddy. You can call him father. And he wants you to know that he loves you with an everlasting love. There's no place that you can go out of his sight. For the word of God says the eyes of the Lord is everywhere. And you carry this awesome God in your heart. Your spirit is filled with the Holy Spirit. And God lives in you. That means you've got all wisdom, you've got all knowledge, you've got all understanding inside of you. Now pull it out, amen, and ask God as your father, Lord, how should I uh, attach myself to this, to this vision? What should I do first? What should I do second? Who should I talk to about? The word of God said in all your ways, listen at this, acknowledge God, your father. Tell him everything. There's no matter too small that he shouldn't be a part of. Tell him everything in all your ways. Acknowledge, consult with your father, and he will direct your path. The baby's out. It's cleaned up. It's wrapped up. Now he's putting it in your hands. And if you're like me, I check for two eyes and two ears and mouth. Amen. I check for ten fingers and ten toes. That's a perfect baby. And when he starts yelling, oh, God, then you know you've got a real baby. I want to hear the cry. Hey, you, you take my baby out and don't cry. I want to hear her cry. Then I know my baby's alive. And I want to tell you, my sister, your baby is very much alive. The thing that you've dreamed, the thing that you've longed for, the thing that you've prayed to God for is now in your hands. Love it. Dedicate it back to God. When you get across that, that threshold of prosperity, don't forget where that baby came from. Don't forget whose seed it is. Glory to God. In all thy ways acknowledge God, and he will direct your path. Woman of God, be blessed. Congratulations. 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 You have a beautiful treasure that God has entrusted into your hands. Doors will open for you. Favor will be given to you. Honor will be presented to you. There will be no lack in your life from this day forward. Oh, glory to God, because God made a covenant with you. And the covenant is, I will never leave you nor forsake you. My love for you is everlasting. And there's nothing you can do to stop me from loving you. All I ask is to give me the praise, the worship, and the honor that's due to me. That's all I ask for you to love me back the way I love you. Put your hands out. Father, I thank you for this great delivery tonight. I believe 
that this is the best day for the rest of my life. I believe you're going to move and open doors for me, and I'm not going to wait until they open. I believe they're open now, so I thank you. I thank you. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Amen.